piggy people! So I just finished cleaning out cages and I want to play a game with you all. So I want to go around the room and ask you what you think each of the piggies weigh. I just finished weighing everybody and I was actually quite surprised at some of the weights. So also in this video I am going to show you giving Butter Pecan a bath and Apple a bath. So they both just need to kind of bum belly baths but we'll show that. So first can you guys guess how much Angus weighs? That's Angus here, he's a neutered male. And how much Autumn weighs? So I weigh every pig in grams. So get your guesses, type them out. So the answer is they both weigh the same, 1050. So 1050 grams a piece, which is awesome. So Angus weighing 1050 is amazing. If you guys remember back when he lived with Bullseye, it was a stressful situation near the end and he ended up being only about 800 grams. So stress on guinea pigs, well that was rude Angus, just peed. Um, stress on guinea pigs can make them lose weight. So if you have new bonds with piggies and stuff like that, it's really good to weigh them to make sure they're maintaining their weight. So unfortunately with Angus I never knew what his full grown weight should have been because he started off as a four week old baby with Bullseye and grew up so I just thought 800, 800 grams was normal for him. But now that he's lived with Autumn for so long and he weighs 1050, I now know unfortunately he wasn't weighing the appropriate amount most likely due to stress. But he wasn't with Bullseye for too, too crazy long because Bullseye ended up having arthritis and they started fighting. But needless to say, learning lesson. Okay, so let's move on to the next cage. So over here we have Miss Annabelle. Hi sweetie. So what do you guys think Annabelle weighs? So put your guesses down. The answer is 850 grams. So she has stayed the exact same weight since being separated from her sister, which is a really positive sign. If she had been losing weight, I would be very worried. So next, let's go over to Miss Annie. So Annie, can you guess how much she weighs? So the answer for Annie is 800 grams. So right now she's about 50 grams lower than she normally is, but she had been spayed two weeks ago, so she's slowly putting some weight back on, so that's very normal. Annie is doing so well. Hi Annie. Hello. Hi sweetheart. She's being so sweet for being pet. She must be feeling so much calmer without being with her sister because before you could never reach in and pet them without them running away from you, chattering, snorting. So the separation has been extremely positive. So look at her cage. She's all set up right in the middle of the herd. So speaking of the herd, how much do you think Reese weighs? This will blow your socks off guys. I was shocked. So I do notice some weight gain in some of the pigs since switching to the Sherwood Timothy pellets. So Reese weighs 1400 grams. Part of that I think is because she's such a lazy pig. But also part of it must be from the Sherwood pellets. Which I'm fine with her weighing that because when she's up and about she does not look fat. And besides having a little extra on a piggy is not a big deal if it's from healthy foods because we, we all know if our guinea pigs get sick they drop weight so fast so a little extra it's not gonna hurt okay so now butter pecan our lady here on the left who by the way is almost six years old one more week so maybe by the time you're seeing this she could be so November is her birthday so pecan is 1050 which is very good for her so as a senior, she weighs 200 grams less than what she did when she was in her prime. But she's actually up 50 grams since switching to the Sherwood pellets, which I think is great. Huckle, that was really rude. We were talking about her. OK, 
Okay, so Huckle apparently wants you to guess his weight. So Hucky is 1250. Huckle used to be a bit bigger before he was neutered, and I find it really interesting. Since he got neutered, he was always sitting around 1200 grams instead of 1350. And now he's 1250, so he's put on 50 grams since switching to the new Sherwood Timothy pellets. So let's go down the line. Let's talk about Miss Velvy who's scooting away. So Velvet, can you guess? She's 1300 grams now. So both her and Reese have gained weight since being on the Sherwood pellets. And another person who's gained weight is Raisin. How much do you think Raisin is? So Raisin's just over a thousand grams, which normally she was sitting at about 950. So she has put on 50 grams of weight, which is totally good for her because she was a little bit petite. So there's no problem with that. And now Miss Apple. What do you guys think Apple weighs? So the answer is a thousand grams, the same as she always weighs. So she hasn't put on any weight or lost any weight, which is great. You don't want to see any weight loss if piggies are losing weight, like 50 grams or more, something's the matter. So that are that is the conclusion of our piggy weigh-in. Did you get any of them right? So let me know down in the comments below. What do your piggies weigh? And now we will share some little bath videos. Miss Pecan and Apple. Good girl. Off we go, pretty lady. So she just more needs a belly bath. So we're going to go do that. So I always like to put a pad down in the basin here. It's just a little dish tub that we have. Now I'm going to get some water going. So I only have like maybe half an inch, an inch of water in here max. We don't really need much. So the main reason, as I said, is she needs to have her belly bathed. Just from being a senior, it's a little bit sticky. Just some of her fur down there is a little bit yellow tinged from laying down a lot. And I could see a little bit of flaky skin, so I just need to exfoliate her skin. It wasn't too long ago we did a full bath, I feel like, maybe six months ago. So the biggest area that I noticed was her belly, as I said. So Pecan is six years old. Well, she'll be six in a week. So that happens with your seniors every once in a while. They need a little bit of extra maintenance, extra care, I guess you could say. Okay. What's well, left? Yup. You can't go too far, sweetie. Get your little legs going. Oh, I know you hate it. I know. So we use Gorgeous Guinea's Kind and Gentle Shampoo. So just gently scrubbing around her belly area where I had seen the majority of the like dead skin cells that we need to help wash away. We're going to weigh Pecan after we're done her bath and she's all dry. I feel like she weighs more after we started the Sherwood pellets, the new Timothy kind. So I'm going to see if I'm correct. You're doing good. Okay, just making sure you get your belly good. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have her sitting there and I'm gonna get some nice temperature water to rinse her tummy that was getting a bit hot. Okay, sweetie.
Ready? We gotta go under again. Good girl, you're being so good. Good girl. So I like to use the tap to rinse them out to make sure you get all the soap out because otherwise I feel like just scooping water over them would take forever. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. She's sensitive. She just told me, not so rough, please, Mom, because we have some arthritis in her back end. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, sweetie. Oh, I feel bad. I didn't mean to scrub you too rough. So we're gonna do a hair dryer. So that's another thing I like to personally do for the pigs. And you hold it far away from them and always keep your hand on them so you can feel the temperature that the air is blowing. It just with a towel for pigs with a lot of fur. Her fur is really thick and dense. It takes forever for her to dry. So we're gonna bust out the hair dryer. Now, if you're ever doing a pig that's really nervous, please do this on the floor. You would never want them to fly off the counter. Okay, we're done, sweetie. Good job. So, Pecan left us lots of presents. So, don't be surprised if your pig pees and poops. You are stimulating their gut by massaging their tummy and, you know, sometimes they get nervous so they'll pee or poop as well. So, that's why you need a towel. Okay, so she's about 90% dry. So, I'm going to put her over here on the clean side. You're good. So we have another piggy that needs their bum bath, which is Apple. So I'm just going to give Pecan a little bit of hay while she's here by herself. Ooh. Okay. I'll put your... Yeah, I'll put you back with the other guys in a bit. I just don't want you back on the dirty stuff. Okay. So Apple... She likes to lay in the hay pile. <whistles> yes. And she has... Look at that. We peed on the side of herself, probably because she peed while she was right on the hay. So we're going for a bath. Okay, so we got piggy number two. Gotta fold this up a bit. Apple hates to be flipped over. I know. But it's so hard to get you there. I know. Okay. So hers is just kind of it's just down the one leg. She's done this before. If she's laying in a huge pile of hay and just pees down her leg. I know. Well, if you were a little bit more tidy. So if your piggy has like pee stain bum or you could see like fresh pee, just give them a quick bum bath. Urine can scald them and irritate their skin. So you don't want them having a dirty bum. And for baths, for piggies, I just give them as much of a bath as they need. So I am just focusing on her little tiny hiney. I know you hate this. Okay, so I think that's good. Let's get some nice water. Oh, 
No, no, no. You gotta stay still, sweetie. Good girl. Apple. Calm down. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Apple, come on. You're fine, hon. You gotta get it rinsed out, okay? Okay. So I do want to say, if your piggy is frequently having a wet bum, a dirty bum, that would be a sign something's wrong. It happens to all pigs once in a while, but if they're always having a dirty wet bum, then I'd be checking that they don't have a UTI or worse bladder stones, because it is not normal for them to have a dirty bum often. Just once in a while, yeah, it happens. Because as I said, Apple loves to lay in the hay piles. But if this was something that was happening every day, then you know something's wrong. So I just want to put that out there that it shouldn't be happening often. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to put Apple over here where it's clean as well. There you go. You can tell Pecan all about it. How unfair it is. You have more presents there, Pecan. Okay, look at this sweet baby. Look at Autumn's little tail feathers. They're just a few. Isn't that funny? Aren't you so gorgeous? So I always think Autumn's so cute because you look at her one side and then you turn her and she looks like a new piggy. Don't you? You're all light on that side. And then we go to the dark side. And what do you think? And what do you think, pretty girl? She's so sweet, guys. You'd have to be sweet, eh, to put up with Angus? What do you think about him? Does he treat you well? Hey, pretty girl. I love you. And you're not a tiny baby anymore, are you? You're such a big girl. A big, beautiful lady. Thank you.